hyperbole in this statement. It was a must-win situation for Team USA as a loss to the rival Canadians would eliminate them from the World Cup. John Tortorella's troops in search of their first World Cup goal against a Canadian team had yet to give one up. John Carlson to center. Here's Patrick Kane. Step on, takes over. Kane goes to the net. Parisi's in front. Loose puck. Price makes the save. They score. Ryan McDonough followed the play to the net, and USA is on the board first. And watch McDonough. Knocks Vlasic into Price, gets the rebound himself. What a start for the USA. They needed a goal. They have their first one of this tournament, the first goal they've scored since the quarterfinals of the Sochi Olympics. He left the puck for Thornton. Centering pass comes back to Vlasic. He waits, shoots, just missed the net. Duchesne scores! Karamoff the end boards, and Matt Duchesne has tied the game 1-1. And a heads-up play by number nine, finding that puck off the backboards. No hesitation on the backhand in the back of the net. Set up by Vlasic from Montreal and Thornton from St. Thomas. It's a 1-1 tie. Quick after the puck, Corey Perry scores! 14 seconds after the Duchesne goal. There's some discussion about this, about whether it's going to count, but Corey Perry looks like he's put Canada in the lead. Pacioretty tried to clear the puck, he couldn't. Right in front, Matt Duchesne scores! Big turnover, big goal. Matt Duchesne's got a pair, it's 3-1 Canada. Jim Jonathan Quick has just got to be shaking his head. In game one, it was odd man rushes here. Another fluky play, a bouncing puck, but what a heads up move by Duchesne. Here's John Tavares with Bergeron. What a move, Tavares into some skates, he scores! Ryan McDonough is arguing this one as well, but it's signaled a goal. John Tavares with a brilliant move heading to the net, 4-1 Canada. One on three, got the puck through, Bufflin shot, another goal post. That's the second one in this period, the first on that power play. Here's Patrick Kane after the puck. Pacioretty with a shot off the post again. Well, I guess this game could be a lot different if either one of those had that's, gone in. That's the reality, isn't it? It's the old shoulda, coulda, woulda, it might have been, but it hasn't. Rattles around in front off some bodies. Oshi got his stick up on Petrangelo. Now he's down on top of him from behind the net. Price made the save. He can't find the puck. It's in the net. And with 2.32 to go in the third period, it's a 4-2 game. From the angle I saw, you saw the arm of Van Riemsdyk knock it. Had it gone in directly there, it wouldn't have counted, I don't think. But it's Joe Thornton who puts it in himself. Carlson with a shot that's blocked. Another pass to Kane. Stopped by Carey Price with under 30 seconds to go. Watch him dig in with his right skate. Get right close to the post. And Kane tried to sneak it underneath. Dubinsky and Jack Johnson. Canada's 2-0. And the Americans will not advance to the playoffs at the World Cup. Team USA is sent packing following a 4-2 loss to the rival Canadians on Tuesday night. A 1-0 lead for Team USA was quickly erased within a 14-second span in the opening period as goals by Matthew Shane and Corey Perry put the Canadians on top for good.